West Michigan will have another chance at seeing the northern lights tonight. Yes, we saw all those pictures last night from all across the country, but not us. What about tonight, Sarah? Yeah, tonight's looking better for us, so that's something to keep in mind as we move closer to our evening and overnight. You're right. Most of the country actually had a glance of these northern lights last night. Anywhere from Iowa to Illinois, all the way down in Florida, you could use a really good camera on the horizon there. Tonight, expected to actually be similar, if not better. We're expected to see a G4 geomagnetic storm, which is what we saw last night, but we're currently hovering in those G3 category, that level. The highest on the scale is five, by the way, so we're definitely forecasting a severe storm. But keep in mind, space weather changes even more frequently than our general forecast here in West Michigan, so we'll continue to monitor as the minutes and hours go by. Still holding on to a KP index of eight, likely to kick off our evening before falling to a seven as we move overnight. And this is a measurement of that geomagnetic activity. Anything greater than a seven, by the way, is typically when we're able to see them here in West Michigan. And with the clear skies in the forecast, looking pretty good for us and for much of the country yet again. Take a look. We actually have a really good chance for pretty much the entire state, if not northern Indiana and Ohio, to really be able to just see this without using a camera. Stretching further off to the south, all the way as far south as Tennessee and portions of Arkansas, you may be able to use your phone camera and see it there as well. So pass it along to family and friends. Should be a really good show tonight. We're lucky because high pressure continues to build for us. That's going to give us those clear skies tonight. Here's a glance at about midnight, 1 a.m. and 2 a.m. Mostly clear across West Michigan. Most of that cloud cover staying off to our south and we just have a few raindrops to the north. This will hold true as we move into our Thursday. We'll have sunshine as we move towards the end of the week. More about that all coming up here in just a bit. Do you want to get you a check at traffic out there as well? We've had just a few accidents and slowdowns in and around the Grand Rapids area. Five popping up on your screen, a lot of which have been cleared. Most significant one I would say right now is the right lane is blocked on 131 southbound. It's a very stop and go situation. We're expecting that to extend within the next couple of hours here as those traffic volumes do continue to uh, increase as we move towards that five o'clock hour. We also are dealing with significant slowdowns. 131 northbound southbound just south of the Grand Rapids area. There's construction projects going on. The left lane is blocked in the northbound direction. And again, that's adding several minutes to people's commute. So we'll take a look at some of those drive times. The Kalamazoo to Grand Rapids hovering at 49 minutes from its typical 35. And then Grand Rapids to Kalamazoo hovering near 46 from its typical 35 there as well. We'll have more weather and traffic all coming up.